Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Shay. I'm back with another video. Ignore the background because <laughs> I'm actually in my kids' playroom, and that's why all these toys and books that's not on the bookshelf that's supposed to be on the bookshelf but <clears throat> that's why i'm in this room because they are upstairs in my room watching toy story for some reason my kids like my room just as much as i like my room and they just can't seem to stay out of my room they got all the space but for some reason they want to be in my room <laughs> but whatever i know y'all y'all other y'all parents understand your kids just won't leave you alone I guess I gotta wait till they teenagers, but I'ma, you know, milk that while I can because you know they grow up so fast, and then I'll be wondering like why I don't want to hang out with me no more. But anyway, I'm I'm getting off the top. <laughs> so I decided to make a video because I'm so tired of the ignorant shit that I'm seeing on social media. I took a break from Facebook. And because I took a break from actually Instagram too. I'm actually off Instagram too for a minute. But I took a break from Facebook because it's like for some it's just too much for me. Like <laughs> Facebook, I just feel like people be just posting just ignorant shit and and it's a bunch of stuff that like I don't care about. You know what I'm saying? Like I I guess when you like are growing as a person and you growing mentally and Certain shit just don't appease you anymore. And I guess that's what's going on with me. Because a lot of shit that I see, I just be like, why would you say that? Like, I be thinking, like, why would he say that? Why would she say that? I need to just make a whole new page and just not add people. <laughs> that's what I need to do. Maybe that's what, you know. I might have to just do that. But anyway, back to the point. So I've been seeing a lot of ignorant shit about this whole Layla and Layla Rashawn, what's his, her husband's name, Antoine Fuqua and Nicole Murphy. And I gotta say, I'm very disappointed at the shit that I'm seeing, especially from black men. Like the ignorant shit. I'm seeing positive shit too, but I'm seeing a lot of a lot of ignorant shit. And one of them being people are putting Layla's picture and Nicole's picture together side by side saying who would you choose that's ignorant to me I don't understand what, what's your reason for this why are you doing that I see that I'm also seeing pictures both of them side by side again talking about some could you blame him and then I saw something else that's going around about how basically her husband had a right to cheat on her because she didn't keep herself up. She didn't look like the woman she looked she had she didn't look like the woman she looked like before they had kids, it's and all the other stuff. It's not the woman that he met. So because she gained all his weight, then I guess he that's his reason for that's his reason why he it's okay for him to cheat. And you know what? From what I'm hearing on top of all of this is that, first of all, she is battling lupus. And if you aren't familiar with lupus, I'm going to need you to use your Googles because I'm not going into all that. But lupus is a very serious disease. A lot of people pass away from lupus. So if that's his reasoning, then she needs to let his ass go completely anyway. Because when you balance, and then when you're going through stuff, you struggle going through stuff with your body, diseases, because life happens and stuff happens. You don't know what tomorrow may bring. Your vows say through sickness and through health, not through bad bitch and fat ass nigga. Like, <laughs> your, your vows do not say nothing about no, um, I'm going to stick by your side, you know, bad bitch. You ready looking ass, old ass woman like that. That's not what show vows say. That's not what they say. And my whole thing too is if she did quote unquote was letting herself go, that's his job as a husband to communicate that shit with her. If he was wasn't 
if he's falling out of, you know, if he's not attracted to her no more because of how she looking, then talk to her about that. You know what I'm saying? Tell her, like, you know, because his ass is like he hit the jump. He look like he be hitting the jump. So he could have easily, you know, babe, you know, I'm not liking how this look. Boom, bam, bam. Let's go work out. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could tell there's nothing wrong with sitting down with somebody having that type of conversation. Even though it's not an easy conversation to have, there's nothing wrong with having that conversation. Because ain't no way in hell, I know my man, but tell me. Because <laughs> sometimes you don't even, shit, it happens so fast. It happens, stuff happens so fast. Sometimes you don't even peep shit until it's like, it's already done. It's like, dang. I didn't even know I got this bit. Like, it's the, and a lot of times you don't even peep it until you see a picture of yourself. It's like, damn, I got that big. Like, a simple conversation could be had as her husband. <laughs> and for y'all asses, and then to, let's be real, her. Being fat is a temporary thing. You don't have to be fucking. That's an easy fix. <laughs> that's a, well, I'm not going to say easy, but it's a fix. You can fix that. But from what I'm hearing, Nicole Murphy is a goddamn husband hunter. And you can't fix whatever's going on in her head. Some ain't right in the buttermilk. <laughs> Let's be real, huh? <laughs> I don't know. She looks nice. But some ain't going on here if you after everybody else's husband. Like, what's going on in your head that you find that shit okay? And then it said that's some that's the family friend. I am so embarrassed for, like, I'm super embarrassed for her because I just feel like this nigga just had no, he just out here willy-nilly. <laughs> like, it's not like you not known, you're known. Nicole Murphy is known. Like, how y'all think that shit was okay for y'all to be out here with y'all little shenanigans kissing and shit outside by the pool? And, like, that shit not, is not cool. I just feel so bad for her. And if she's battling disease... And depression and all that shit. And then you gotta worry about this ain't shit ass nigga too. Like, whew, these niggas will stretch your stretch your ass out if you let them. <laughs> they will stretch your ass out if you let them. But my whole thing too is being a woman and trying to hold everything together. That shit is not fucking easy. We bear children. We go through shit, and y'all niggas look the same. Like, you men, I'm not going to say niggas, because niggas is the people who've been writing all this ignorant shit. But a lot of men look the same. We go through this weight, our weights go up and down. We be trying, trying to look good and all that stuff. Not only for ourselves, but for, you know, for our men too. We ain't, we don't want, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a struggle sometimes. She done bear two of this man's kids. She got two of his kids. Supposedly he had kids on her. I don't know how true that is. But he supposedly had she had I know she had two of his kids and then having to deal with lupus allegedly and having to deal with depression allegedly. I've been through depression, postpartum depression. It's hard to try to pull yourself out of that. So for her to even be a mother and somebody whole wife and trying to pull herself out of her own shit. That shit is hard. But all you niggas see is fucking nice ass titties and a flat stomach. I can't stand you niggas. <laughs> Be pissing me off. Like, I just don't understand like how y'all just, how y'all find that type of shit cool. Like, how y'all just... <sighs> My opinion... Antoine Fuqua, you trifling as hell. You disrespectful. Le Layla, I really hope that you divorce this man. But again, this is your marriage. Who are we? You know what I'm saying? It took Wendy Williams a long time. <laughs> and, and it's hard to just, you know, walk out of something that you've known for so long. But if I was you, girl, get the bag, sis. <laughs> divorce his ass and milk him for everything he got. Your ass done stay with his his trifling ass for 20 years. Had two of his kids. You deserve it all, boo. And I hope that your glow up just be amazing. <laughs>
I hope that that when she when it's all said and done, her glow to be amazing, and she get to walk past that shit like you know what. Been there, done that. I overcame it, and I just hope I just wish her the best. Like I just that shit is hard. A lot of us women know how that shit feel just to be to be in the dark about some shit. Like you. That's a lot. I feel bad for her. And for y'all, damn, what make it worse is y'all since having these pictures comparing these two. Ho <laughs> yeah, Nicole Murphy looks like a nice lady. Great. Bravo for her. But bitch, something wrong with you. <laughs> something ain't right in the buttermilk. Like I said, something ain't right if you mess with somebody else's husband. Why you can't, why aren't <laughs> And then I'm hearing that she didn't even she didn't marry, um, what's his name? I forgot his name, but he's a former NFL player, too. She didn't marry him because she didn't want to sign no prenup. Like, girl, that's <laughs> why you dumb. That's, that was her reason for not marrying this man. <laughs> she want the coin. Which ain't no wrong with wanting the coin, but, girl, do that with some single-ass man. Shannon Sharp is... Freaking single. He wants you. Why? He paid? <laughs> I don't understand. I just I just don't get it. <sighs> but anyway, like I was saying, I just had to voice that because I was just so, I'm just tired of the ignorance. Like, I'm just tired of people comparing the two. And if you marrying somebody solely off looks, good luck with your marriage. Because I'm, I, I cannot even, if Ethan looked it good, and that's my reason for marrying his ass. We probably wouldn't be together today. <laughs> you got to have more going on than just some good looks. Good looks will only get you so far. That shit get old. Like, let's be real. You can be fine as hell. But, like, if that's all you have to offer, that shit gets fucking old. And the green ain't always green. The grass ain't always green on the other side. You niggas always be quick to do some stupid shit until when you get you hop that fence and you find then you're starting to realize like this ain't where I wanted to be. Then you're gonna try to go back home. Nah. <sighs> I wish y'all all the best. Good luck. And I ugh, her kids. I didn't even think about her kids. People, niggas is so selfish. Your kids. I didn't even think about your kids. Like you. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine? Like your kids have to see this shit. You out here embarrassing their mama. Y'all just don't think. Niggas be fucking shit, everything up. Y'all just do not think. Y'all do not think. Ooh. I didn't even think about his kids. Whatever. <sighs> Good luck. <laughs> like I said, I hope she milk his ass for everything he got. Get the bag. And this and then somebody gonna say some she got too much money to be looking the way she look. <sighs> Ignorance. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm over it. Well, I'm not over it. Well, I'm over it. It ain't my life. But it could easily be mine if my husband decided he when I got stupid in these streets. But <laughs> I just swear. <laughs> but no, I have sympathy for other. It ain't gotta be me for me to, you know. It, it doesn't have to have anything to do with me for me to feel somebody else's pain. I've been hurt before. You know what I'm saying? So I feel bad for this woman. And like when you invest so much into somebody, put on to to shit on you. <sighs> But I'm out here, y'all. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Thanks for watching my video. Stay tuned for the... What's the... Love at the Lockup review on Friday or this weekend. Who knows with me. <laughs> but yeah, see you guys next time. Deuces.